Right, another new computer. Well, not new to me, but I've had it a long time. Um, right, go through my stuff. A bigger sort out. Get rid of these things because these are getting obsolete. Temperamental. Now I've got one of these MSX. There we go. MSX. Talked about a lot. I remember seeing them when I was a kid in Tandy's. Well, which was in the UK at the time. And uh, way expensive. Didn't have a clue what they were. All I was looking at was a Commodore 64. <laughs> and that was pricey. These were about 300 quid plus. And again, these things weigh a bit. But anyway, we'll go through it. Um, MSX, Toshiba Home Computer HX10 64K. This is about the cheapest one you can buy on eBay. Um, all the others range from... Oh, well, you're talking 300 quid plus nearly. There's the MSX2, which is 400 quid plus. And there's so many different makes and models by Philips and whatever else. A lot of people had their uh, fingers in it making these things, but mostly from Japan anyway. But they brought this to the UK, so it's... Yeah, it's... Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people have these, you know, not in the home, but business buys most probably. But anyway, this is the rundown of uh, the one I've got. Right, MSX, normal keyboard. It has got F1, 2, 3 and whatever. Um, we'll show that more on the screen what they are in a minute. Cartridge port in the top, a bit like the old Atari. Uh, power on button, activity light, I think. Um, I've only tried it for five minutes before I put it on now. Um, it weighs a bit, does weigh a bit. Um, right around the side, uh, on and off switch. On the back, we've got a cassette recorder, RF, and again, what I like about these things, Perdus, you've got proper video and audio out. AV, love it. So no, no having to play around with adapters. Expansion bus, don't know, wouldn't have a clue what was plugging in there, modems or something or whatever, I don't know. On the side, which is another good thing, is um, got two joystick ports and they take the normal Commodore and Spectrum um, joysticks. Printer port, phew, don't know, not something I'd be playing with in one of these. Um, yeah, Toshiba home computer. Serial number 211,000. I mean, they must have made tons of these back in the day. Like I say, solid made. Solid. And it's not a bad nick considering what I picked it up for. Most probably I bought it quite cheap, maybe 100, 100 quid back in the day. Anyway, so that's that's the basics. There's nothing else I've missed properly. Um, right. We'll plug it in. Get some sound and audio in it. Uh, picture. Gonna use the red or the white. The red one for the sound. Now we'll start off with that first. There we go. Let's just open out. Get this thing going. So 1984, 64K. Let's see what pops on the screen. MSX system. Is that facing you? 1983. 64K, just like the Commodore. And like I say, keyboard. It's got a colour auto list, wherever they are. I haven't got a clue. Uh, well, S7 keys do all the same sort of thing. Um, that's it. I suppose that's all you get. Type in what you want. Um, if you're programming or what you're doing and that sort of stuff, but as far as I'm going to be doing is loading. So, uh, just show you a couple of games I've got. Um, just turn it on with a game of Codomai Soccer. You just whack that in so it fits in the top. And then just whack it on. Hopefully, it'll turn on. Oh, I'll just put the joystick in as well. Uh, 
so yeah, good old joystick. The old fashioned zip stick. Uh, how long are we going to wait for it to load? Mm -hmm. Put the joystick in. Did I interrupt it? Maybe I did. These old things don't like to be uh, played around with when they first come on. Funny why it says copyright by Microsoft. Yeah, they come from Japan. Closely known. Come on. Nope. It's having a diggy fit there. Maybe the cartridge needs it. Go in and put it back in there again. And believe me, I did try this earlier. And it worked. Oh, there we are. Get a bit more motion there. Oh, there we go. Nice bit of animation. Oh, clear sound, clear picture, just like we want to see. Oh, got the joystick in now, see if I can kick a ball. Oh, he sticks to me. Oh, too kickable. Come on. Oh, got it. Oh, I kick backwards. Oh, I crap a football. I don't like sports. Hey, that's the soccer game. Pretty basic, but it's nice. Sounds crisp. Must admit, that is it's pretty crisp. That. Uh, I'll try the other one while I'm here. Uh, see what the other one is. Ping pong. Oh well, here's what it is. The old games. Another cartridge. Nicely boxed. They boxed them in them days. Like the cassettes, I suppose. Anyway, uh, ping pong. Oh, it's bit I like that one. See what that looks like. Microsoft having their fingers in everything. Even back then, eh? Uh, oh, here we go. Ping pong. Tell you what, the imagination. Oh, oh yeah. I don't bother playing it. Just show you. Pretty good colours. Sound again is quite nice. I bet I'd be crap at that. Anyway, that's ping pong. At least that's out of the way. Right. So that's your MSX. Brilliant. It's not something I would be playing, but it was part of my collection, so I thought, well. And as always with my collections, so I don't just have two games. I have always have a special gadget. That there's no point having it unless you can play tons of games on these so i bought one of these now a guy called i can't remember what his name was he was online and um i asked specifically to have one met for this and he was selling these at the time on ebay and i told him what i wanted it for so i just wanted a, an msx version they will run with others so he made me this box and it's called um, an MSX Castunio, whatever it is. And um, it's like it's a bit like having a modem. So it's, it loads it from an SD card with all the games on. So he did me an SD card with all the games on as well, which was very nice of him. Because I said, I haven't got a clue. And what was really good as well, because he was really helpful, he actually did a, a proper a proper manual. Which I thought was amazing. So it helped me out something massively. So give me a bit of instructions. So yeah. So and what's really good about this? It only takes. It only connects to a five volt adapter. So you can run it off a USB, and then you then plug to go in the back to watch it. So I'll just show you this running. So all you do is you plug it in here. I don't know if you can see that. But it uh, flashes MSX, and then what happens is little menu comes up, and you scroll up and down, and you can select A, B, C, D, whichever 
in MSX and then you just select the the direct you want press yellow button to look what you want to play and then it'll scroll across the screen I don't know if you can see that and um, just select the game you want to play so is a thing called happy well, I thought I saw it told me it takes so blooming long to load um, hostages could try that can I should we try hostages and what I'll do is I'll pause it while it loads it but I'll just show how it works so I've highlighted the game more on there deadly simple these buttons there's nothing complicated and when you start it off so we'll just plug it into the back otherwise it won't get anything going It. just whack it on and then we'll good old instructions good job i've written them on the back of here how to load from it i mean it's been that long it's surprising how you forget uh, go press space in between there shift plus and you have to type in these characters which is a weird way not like the commodore or spectrum you just press speech mark we have to press these buttons cas C A S dash and he put comma R. Oh, bit weird. So anyway, you press that and then you press enter on there. And then all we do on this little box here, it's already highlighted the one we're going to do, which is off hostages. It says, and then you press the play button, and then it'll start. If you listen to it, it's like a, you can hear a modem noise going through remember that old dial-up there it says found host so we'll let it go through as you can see it is quite loud and why it's loading um this is weird you hear this kicking on and off like it makes a funny kicking noise and this also flashes on and off while it's doing it Don't play around with it too Yeah, so it's like going back to the old dial-up days. Or same and the same bit like sound like the old tape recorder noise that used to go through. And what it does, it shows you it's counting as well. So you know how far it goes into it. Hopefully, it, yeah, we're, we're getting a loading screen. Oh, didn't get this on um, on on Bruce Lee. I've added another bit on this as well. Um, I did earlier with Bruce Lee. Just thought I'd show you that amazing game that was on the Commodore 64 as well. One of my most favourite games. Uh, so I thought, while well, I'm testing it, loading it, I thought I'll put that on as well. So I'll put that on towards the either middle or the end, showing you that working. Might as well leave this on with 3% at the minute. Um, 70, 80 blocks. Just have a little look. And what I'll do is I'll just pause this for a second until it uh, comes back on and I can show you. But that's that's technically all it is. A little box with every game on it and you just load it through uh, an sd card um it's not a lot more really i could say about this machine it's just an msx plays cartridges good adapters to plug in um really it's not an exciting machine you know um because like you say it's all there really but just expensive i mean i was looking at one today one burnt for 64 quid plus p and p and then you're talking other ones are charging 150 to 300 quid for them so you're just lucky if you catch one on ebay anyway I'll just pause it i'll come back in a minute when it's loaded oh back about four minutes later and there we go Like I say, when I'm showing off these computers, if I've still got them, if anybody wants to, um, you know, want me to, uh, wants me to show them any games on there, I'm, I'm getting a bit, uh, you know, if somebody wants me to show a few games off, just to have a bit of nostalgia, let me know in the comments, and I can uh, give me something to do to set it up, and, and I'll have a bit of a play, you know. I don't mind 
I don't know if anybody's ever interested in watching other people play games. Um, think about doing something like that, but yeah, you let me know. Oh, are we ever going to get off this title screen? Oh, there we go. Two joystick. Menu is map. Where the menu is. Can't see where menu is. Oh, I see. You've got to... Turned it down a bit there, shouldn't I really? Didn't realise it was going to be that blooming loud. Press play on take. Oh, they are. And what's good about it, it automatically stops on the actual machine. And then it carries on loading it. Now, how clever is that? Hey? I'll tell you, these people that make these little gadgets are pretty amazing. Like I say, it's been ages since I've played with that. It's been years. Anyway, I've added on the other one just to show Bruce Lee on it. Um, I don't want to spend any more time on this. I just thought I'd do a quick video while I've got it out the box. Because I'm packing most of it away because winter's coming. I don't want to leave them out in the shed in the open. Don't mind taking them out if anybody wants me to uh, do a few game shows or whatever they want to see. You know, um, Give me a few lists and I can spend a, a little bit of time make, doing games on any of my Commodores or Spectrums, I'm going to be doing a bit more of them. Um, anything you'd like to see or something you can't get hold of, um, I can have a go. Just uh, let me know, uh, put in the messages, and um, hopefully, I'll find a bit of time on the weekends. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, watch the next uh, little bit with Bruce Lee, which I've done. Um, and like I said, not a lot to it. Simple, if you wanted to buy one off eBay. Dead easy to set up. Um, like I say, find a casino adapter. There is a few on eBay. Plug it in and see how you get on. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, just wait for the next video. Bye bye for now. Right, just want to do this little video because um, it's a bit of an edit on this bit because uh, the game takes so bloody long to load in. I just thought. I'll just plug this in before I do the review before. So this is after. Um, Bruce Lee, brilliant game. Always loved it. And uh, I love it on the, on the Commodore 64. I still think it's one of the best games ever. That's what made me buy my Commodore 64, believe it or not. Um, so I just thought, why it's loaded in? Um, off my Cassandra. Um... Obviously, a lot of adapter, but I'll talk about that if previously when we start going through. And I thought while I've loaded it through and it's working, we'll press game and just go a quick run through of the game. Why it's show it working? So F4. And there we have it. Um, volume unusual. Let's level up. So we we'll lose something. Ah, I haven't got any sound. Anyway, it works. Uh, I've got a normal joystick plugged in and it's, it plays pretty well, just like the Commodore 64 version. Go on, oh, it jumps up. Um, yeah, seems like very much the same, but the Commodore definitely got a, it's definitely got an edge on it, you know, it's much crisper. But yeah, I just thought while I've loaded this in, just thought I'd show a quick demo of it before I get killed with this green guy. Here he goes, the man himself. Yeah, I do love this. I know I played this all the way through to the end. It's a really good game. Back in the day, it cost me $9.99. <laughs> you know, but it made me buy my first Commodore. But this is running on MSX anyway, just sort of let you know. A Toshiba HX1064K on a SD adapter Cassandra. So I just thought I'd just pop this in. So if it looks a bit weird, uh, why I've added it into a certain time, it's because I just want to show you Bruce Lee running on here. It. It's still great playable. Okay, just thought I'd that one in. Okay, catch you in the next little bit. Bye.